men and women as friends, platonically, is it possible? Can we do it? Let's talk about it and my experiences. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Setting up a delicioso, two foot long for cheap, legendary spread for a video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you know. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. All right, y'all, you heard it in the intro. Today we're going to be discussing a debate that uh, predates Jesus, probably. Can men and women be just friends? I have my own personal experiences with it, but we'll uncover all that in this video. This, however, is a splurge video today because of coupons. Um, I got one foot long for the original price and the next one for 99 cents, along with the beverage, came to 13.49 total. So I got a cold cut combo because I haven't had one of those in like forever. And then I just got a pizza sub, sans the pizza sauce, but loaded up how I usually do the Italian BMT. It's kind of like a cheap low key hack of sort of similar tasting Italian BMT, but for the poor man style. And then same toppings I always get with the same sauces, the Southwest, the ranch, and the sweet onion. Uh, I got all the same toppings on the cold cut combo, except for the sauces are different. Mayo mustard house dressing. And of course we have the Valley for single bite per squirt support ranch. And then we're also coming in with a little side of chinos in the cut because maybe have some bites with those. And then it's been a long time, but before we do anything more, we must papa. We haven't papa in a long time. Cause I honestly am trying to like really mitigate the sodas, anything diet, whatever. Uh, this is Pepsi max. But the thing is, I just, I'm really focusing on water in my life. Cause I already eat like not the greatest stuff. So just adding this on top of it is, you know, not a good plan really all the all the time you know but every once in a blue it's nice to pour up a uh, carbonated beverage a carbonated soda if you know what that's from i would be hella surprised but it's a f funny old comedy and it involves parodying ninja stuff <laughs> anyways Sip face. When you haven't had a soft drink in a while, they're, they're, they're amazing. Okay. So let's unstack and then attack basically. So we got the pizza sub stacked over here. And then we got the cold cut combo now i don't usually get like i just i've never been a cold cut combo kind of guy i don't know why it's just never been truly my forte but uh i should mention that i did get these ever since i discovered that you can panini press them i got them panini pressed so this is the cold cut combo meat trio three meat trio right right there not even too sure what the three meats are. I think it's bologna, ham, ham a salami, a, like a salami of some sort. Not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that. Mm-hmm. I think the reason that I never was big on the cold cut combo is because I feel like it's a sandwich that you just make at home. It feels if I'm go if I'm going to Subway. I'm going for, I don't know, like a more, a less pedestrian sandwich. But I can't say that it's not good. It is good. Especially with that panini press. It's so much better than toasted.
let's go ahead try it with some ranch because we don't have any on there a little ranch bite all right with you guessed it a chini cut Oh yeah, that's really good. Let that drip. So what do y'all think? Thirteen fifty for two of these? Is that too much? Up here where I'm at, if you get just a foot long of like a more, um, just like a nicer sub, it's usually around the 14 bucks just for one. So I say it's a deal for sure. Perfect bites coming up. <laughs> I love when they you carve them out and they start to formulate. Unlike yesterday, today I'm seemingly quite hungry. <sighs> Fluctuation station. All right. The topic of the day. Men and women being platonic friends. Can you be just friends? I'm gonna have to kick this off starting with like childhood. In childhood, you pretty much, I think when you're really young, you can intermingle with the girls. Then at a certain age, it becomes, now you're in your separate <clears throat> uh, teams basically because now you're starting to develop feelings, right? And you're like immature and your friendships with females at that point is basically the intention is you're going to want to make out at the party, like spin the bottle and shit. Like you're going to want to, or whatever, minutes in heaven and all that stuff. I don't know if, what kids do nowadays. Probably a lot of them are already banging by then, or maybe they don't even talk and touch or anything because we live in cy cyborg world now, but really, you, you get what I'm saying. When you go in high school, it's a little bit more of the same. However, in high school, you do, at that point, mature enough a little bit to have some relationships. When you're going to parties and then you find that you become f like friends, just friends with, uh, with girls. I feel like I've always had a pretty good balance. Um, but I will say that in high school, it's like you would party and go like be acquainted with females or and, and vice versa but I wasn't really calling girls to hang out in high school I was hanging out with my boys right so we got the pizza sub hack so you're like pretty much at least for me we're mostly hanging out with dudes 
through high school into your 20s, maybe. I mean, here's where I think it all can change or what is determined. It is like sex becomes less taboo and stuff and you, you start to be more open in these ages. And then you enter, you enter into work environments and you find yourself meeting people. And uh, yeah, you do develop friendships with the opposite sex. But once again, it's like, are these people that you're calling to strictly go just hang out, enjoy the company, no attraction, no alter, alternate intentions to like secretly you you want to hook up with this person but you're kind of trying to pretend a friend kind of thing there's that whole game i gotta tell you the sweet onion sauce is always so so good so in my experience I predominantly had male, like my male pack of friends that I always hung out with prior to moving away. Moved away, still was rel relatively male dominant friendship groups. Um, for a while, cause like a, bun a bunch of dudes that I knew from back home moved to, to Toronto as well. Men as men as roommates, all that stuff, and I kept that group of guy friends through the duration of my living there. But we also invited in women to our circle that were strictly platonic. Some of them were like dating, but at the same time, there's other ones that are just strictly platonic. We just became strictly platonic friends with with women. Um, and then I started working in the restaurant and the service industry, right? And that's when you start meeting for me, a lot of females because they, uh, predominantly hire women in the front of the house, right? Women are the usually the servers and bartending staff and not, and the host and hostess, like it's, it's predominantly women, but it is balanced as well. It just depends where you work really. But, uh, <clears throat> through that, there is a lot of friendships brewing into situationships a lot of that a lot of <laughs> foh boh hanky panky if you will but uh i also developed at this time really good strong bonds with one of some of my best friends in toronto were women platonic lee women just because we got along so well and we found ourselves just being friends I did find myself hanging out or calling more of my girl friends more often to hang out than I was my guy friends And I made a transition to hanging out with females a lot more than guys at a certain point in my, in my uh, duration there. And 
Now, the reason why I think that is, is because I like to talk. And, you know, though I am a man and I can do manly shit, I, you know, I've played, and I've played and been good at all the sports. I ride motocross. I, I've fought people and, you know what I mean? Like, I've done it all. I've done all the manly boy shit. But what I find is at a certain point in life, like a lot of dudes get stuck in just that male world. They just, that's their like video games and shoot 'em ups and, um, and hockey and sports and da, 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 da. And it's just, it's all like a lot of bravado and stuff, but I'm not into that shit. I'm a communicator. I like to talk, I like to express ideas and think and philosophize and, things like that and feelings and communication and that's what women are predominantly good at like they're just better at it than men like that's what their whole shit is predominantly I'm not lumping everybody together but so at a certain point I found hanging out with women more interesting more fun because The ones that I hung out with at least could could hang with the best of them too. Like, as far as party and fun times and just like hilarious energy and jokes and all that stuff, like they got that shit too. Like, you know, we're more the same than you really think. So I had platonic women friends. 100%. And a few really good ones. And still to this day, I think I prefer, like if I find myself Zoom chatting with an old friend or like a FaceTime with an old friend, it's usually a, a female. Here's another thing. And this is for my, my guys out there. Do not make it your sole reason why you're befriending this person. But having a female friend platonically is at a certain time in your life. Now, if you get married and move on, get older and stuff, that's a whole other complex can of worms because now you're dealing with relationship and trust. And like, you know, that gets complicated. However, at a certain period in your life, when you're on the market and you're mingling, um, being platonically friends with, a, with, a, with females is the most beneficial you'll thing, thing you'll have for you in the dating pool. Because she has a network of girlfriends that you will be meeting if you hang around and party and stuff and whatever. And when you do meet them, you've already qualified basically. It's called social proof. If she co-signs off on you, like let's say, and this is for a perfect example, something that used to happen with me, I had this really good friend that was a girl. And pre her inviting people to her house to have a jam, she'd invite me over first to lube up a bit. And we'd, we'd chill and we'd talk and we'd have some drinks and get ready for the party, right? And so when these girls that she knows arrive into the house and I'm already there alone chilling da, 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 and they're like and we've never met and she's like oh yeah that's just he's so, he's a solid dude we're just we're literally just friends but like we have the best hangs then you've already passed so many shit tests creep tests whatever you're already past all of that because you are just a genuinely good solid person so 
the line of communication then is is like the world's your oyster at that point because you're just already in the club like you're in the group they're gonna just accept you it's just simple social dynamics so that's a really beneficial thing too and i mean vice versa it goes both ways a bit but dudes on the other hand they aren't so like dudes aren't apprehensive about walking to a party and like it's it, it's op it's different on the other side because you don't really have to qualify too much with dudes from a women's perspective like dudes are just kind of out hunting all the time you know what i mean women are more like reserved about being <laughs> hunted you know and rightfully so it's understandable now that being said have i had a platonic friend woman friend and we uh at one point or another like actually accidentally tested some waters and had like a little hookup just to try it out and see what happens only to find out that it's not the vibe at all and we need to just go back to being platonic yes that's happened of course it happens I feel as if there is a, um, not always, but there's always a little lingering possibility that you might just become more than friends. But that's usually when alcohol is involved and you're not really, you're just going based off like animalistic in the moment, like feelings and emotions or whatever but then the next day you're like mm, yeah n no and then we're like cool though and then like, oh yeah for sure i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> like it you know goes like that so in my experience can you be platonically friends with women absolutely and vice versa i think it is absolutely possible however it's when relationships and marriages get involved that becomes a trust-based minefield that is very difficult to navigate. Let's just be honest. So, you know, in my most serious relationship, it was hard to maintain the previous platonic friends, female friends in that relationship because there was always a jealousy, a a misguided mistrust maybe i don't know but there was always the there's no way like there's no way you're just friends with these girls and i'm like i swear to you i am like i met them years before i knew you and i've been their homie for years and we've never had a sexual thing occur like I used to, my one good friend, we used to go hit beach days. We'd pack up shit, you know, drinks and all that stuff and head out to the, head out to the nude beach. Not, we didn't get nude, but it is a nude beach. It's a co, it's a co nude beach. It's like, you don't have to get nude, but you can. And I just go to the beach and like drink and meet people and, la and like, and just have a good time. So I had all those experiences with women as friends, but then you get in a relationship and it's like, how do you keep them around and in your life if your partner is uh, very skeptical, you know?
So things get complicated. Relationships get complicated for sure. But as far as just being friends, yes, absolutely. You know? You already know that my bitch ass was not going to get through two feet of sub. I know. I'm not the ASMR bro. He, this, this is a snack for him. He can literally eat, what does he eat? Five foot longs. He eats five foot, of, five feet of sub at a time. The guy is an absolute animal. Like the, like I don't get, I don't understand how he does it. It's honestly just very impressive. And that's it. And that's it. So this is going to be food either for later on this evening, even though I'm pretty much one meal kind of guy or tomorrow or whatever nibble tonight tomorrow have reinvigorate or whatever okay hope you got something from this hopefully it was accurate to your life like you feel like you get what i'm saying and uh beyond that you know what to do you gotta eat good live well stay true <laughs> If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.